another clip of Warwick's World and we were in Brisbane for a sports luncheon for the Marist College Ashgrove and uh, very random as it always is following Warwick around with the camera for Warwick's World in particular and on this day I made my way over to his house in Surface Paradise and uh, he was just coming back from the beach as you can see him there and then we jumped in the car headed up to Brisbane this is what he was doing like it's dynamite. I came to move, 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 move. I gotta do a talk with Elf, Elf, Lega. I'm gonna smash it, smash it, smash, smash, smash it at the softest town. Came here to do, 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 do. Yeah, 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 So there's never a dull moment, I can tell you that. Uh, that's why I think it'll be a fun show. But there he is with some of the legends of Australian sport and uh, gave him the microphone. This is what he did. Okay, we're here with a big, great Johnny Eels, captain of Australia. He was always as big as Warwick Kappa. He's actually taller than me. I'm a bit intimidated. How tall are you, John? Uh, I'd be about 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, He's a big boy. And he's also um, a philosopher. A philosopher. That's, uh, that's your interpretation, Warwick. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I, I have my philosophies, I, th I think. Well, it should be a great, a great lunch today. Who's um, talking today besides, our, besides the two biggest names in the world? <laughs> well, we have the great Warwick Capper, of course. So that goes without saying. Uh, Matt Hayden. So Matt and I are both uh, old boys of the school, Morris College Ashgrove, and, and we're the patrons of this foundation, which looks to give scholarships to uh, children and families that otherwise couldn't afford to come to the college. And I think we started off first year there was about two scholarships, uh, now there's about 22, so each year, so it's, it's fantastic. And Alfie Lang is coming along as well, and, uh, and, and Skippy, Jeff Hugel, so... Jeff Hugel, he's lost 28 kilos of fat, now he can't get one. <laughs> old, old, old Skippy? I'm here with the great Matty Hayden, the old opening batsman for Australia. He goes all right. How are you, mate? Mate, good. Thanks. It's going to be a good foundation. It's going to be a good day today. Um, what are you going to talk about? Um, what are we going to talk about? Oh, sure. Uh, to me, I mean, we've obviously got uh, World Cup, you know, that's going on within the cricket world, but um, there is life after sport, as you know, big fella. How about punting on the back of the TV? He's a bit naughty. Yeah, but, mate, you know... Nothing in it. A bit of fun, wasn't it? No. Uh, <laughs> no comment? <laughs> He's great. <laughs> He's great. <laughs> yes, to watch what he says. He's a bit like me when I was playing, when I was playing for footy. He always to watch what he say. I've retired now. I've retired now. I can say what I like, but... You make a TV, big deal. I would have done the same. I would have smashed the whole, the, the, I would have smashed I, the, I, the I whole room. I can't exactly talk, though, now, can I? Because I've had a few incidents over the year, not to mention the uh, SCG change rooms, which I... What happened there? Uh, well, you smashed the bat, didn't you? No, no. Fence. I, well, I was a bit stiff, actually. I'm, I'm like the convicted felon here. I'm a bit stiff. Um, I actually leant into the door and it reverb <laughs> reverberated out and uh, crashed the glass out of it. So I got in a bit of uh, trouble. But is it because you went out for a duck, or what do you have? It's because I care. <laughs> okay, we're here with the great Alan Langer. In case you've been living on Mars, my old mate, and it's good to see he's got some clothes on today. He's worse than me. He gets a bit excited on the bar. Woo! Let's party. Hey, being out, mate. No, not that excited yet. No, give, it, give it three hours and you'll be sweet. It's only early, mate. <laughs> How's life at the Broncos with Ivan leaving? What's happening here? And the, and the, and the CEO's quit? No, the uh, chairman, he's, uh, he's stood down as well. So uh, it's disappointing times for him, but uh, as I say, you've got to go forward in, these, uh, in this day in life. So uh, I'm sure uh, the Broncos will go forward. We've got some great young talent there, and uh, I'm sure they'll do well for themselves this year. You think uh, Wayne's going to come back in a year? That's a, that's a rumour. You're made of his, uh, Wayne? He's like the, God, the godfather coaching. Yeah, well, it's, uh, it looks that way. It's... Uh, could be a, uh, a thing that's going to be happening in the off season or during the season this year. So, um, you know, it's a big uh, step for him if he wants to come back here. I'm, I'm sure the Broncos fans would welcome that. Okay, we're here with our Warrior Kappa, in case we're living on Mars once again, and the great Jeff Hugel. He's trimmed down to a block of flats. I'm a little bit jealous. He almost looks as good as a king. Hey, mate, what's the secret, mate? Train five days a week and train about two hours a day? No, nah, just put down the fork, mate. That's probably the best start that or tip I could give anyone. I heard that. Put some pork on your fork. I heard you were giving the fair run with the pizzas and the dim sims and the pasta, where? A lot of carbs? Yeah, not too bad. A lot of carbs there, a lot of alcohol to go with it as well. But, but look, I, I mean, in all seriousness, I, I guess the easiest thing to do is um, have consistency. Um, you know, I guess weight management is a Monday to Monday approach. You, it's something you, you need to apply every single day and, and focus on many different aspects, not only from, um, from training and exercise, but right through to diet and everything else.
Okay, where I swear once again, we're here with the great Paul Motel. Paul Martel, isn't it? Yeah, that's He's it. a very funny bastard. Yeah. He's got more lines in a Vietnamese fishing boat. He's a very funny man. And it's going to be a fantastic lunch. Hey, man, mate, you have many jobs and everything all right? No, I'm out of work. Can't get a gig. Can't get a gig. Maybe I should take a leaf out of your book and do some really sleazy commercials where I pretend I'm cheap. They're cheap and easy. At rooms at great rates. Cheap and easy. I saw you getting out of the... Well, I was getting out of a limo. You were getting out of a rickshaw. And you would no shoes on. When did you put your shoes on? Yeah, well, really good. That's a true story, Paul. I bought these in Thailand. Yeah. But unfortunately, they're about two sizes small. So I always wait till the last second. Squeeze in. Uh -huh. Bit like me shorts. That's, and they're happy days. That's all you bought in Thailand? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so there's some of the chats with the people featured uh, at the luncheon. Warwick, of course, on the big screen and uh, in the crowd there at the auditorium. There was a song before that by Natalie Dunn. And I wanted to know if she was single, so we uh, grabbed the microphone and Warwick found out for me. Here with the great Natalie. How are you, Dunn? Good, how are you? How long have you been singing for? Oh, since I could talk, I think. Probably before I could talk. You married? No, I think not yet. Are you a boyfriend? Yes. Bad luck, mate. Because he kind of thinks you're okay. He's not a bad looking bloke. He's almost as good as me. Tom Cruise. Okay. He's kind of handsome, isn't he? He is. Yeah. You read he's better than me? <laughs> I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. I think I'm better. How did you get involved in singing? Um, I think I just, I loved it. I, I copied people off video hits and rage when I was little and I kept going. That's what I wanted to do. I like a husky voice. What do you think, Andrew? We love it. And bad luck, she's got a boyfriend, so you have to wait till next year when she gets rid of him. Yes, there you go. If anything, we are unprofessional, that's for sure. But a man who is super professional is Rupert McCall. What a talent. And uh, he did a great job emceeing, and here he is, welcoming Warwick to the stage. Rounding up this box trifecta. In the corner, with the white boots. And the tight shorts, your first instinct might be to laugh. There's nothing funny, ladies and gentlemen, about being one of only 16 AFL footballers in the history of the game to kick 100 goals in a season. And if truth be known, he was better known for the mercurial magnificence of his marking prowess. The mark of the century on his resume when kids climb the back, push off the shoulders with their hands and orchestrate spectacular. So there he is, up on stage with Alfie Langer and Jeff Hugel. He had the crowd going crazy, even doing a little bit of the Kappa Cabana. And the Kappa, he loves himself. And he walked a woman that looked like a man. Now Walker, it was Joanne. She was pissed off. Thank you very much. That's fantastic. And make sure you watch the new TV show. Come out with uh, Tom Sport, Warwick Swirl. You might be like that very nice. Yes, there you go, wrapping up things in Brisbane. A great day up there for the Sportsman's Lunch and uh, Warwick leaving the only way he knows how. Thanks for watching.